Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick number APD001 titled Shortcut to Sly and Auto. The purpose of this tip and trick is to enhance your skills and share with you solutions to problems that other users experience. Our tips and tricks are created from the top 30 support calls logged with our support desk. If you require more information on our support desk then please contact customer services on 01784 419911 or email customer.services at cardline.co.uk. All of our tips and tricks can be found on our website www.cardline.co.uk. Please remember that we are issuing tips and tricks for all of the desk products as well as the one that you're about to watch. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at AutoCAD PNID and also how to actually switch the auto on or off for the schematic lines without having to go into the project properties each time which can be time consuming. Now here we've got the project properties open and you can see here we've got the tick box here to create auto schematic lines so it's either on or off in there. So if I just click OK at the project properties and get back into our project drawing. Now what there will be within AutoCAD pin ID will be a system variable for the auto line on or off. So what we need to do is type that system variable in which is sline auto press enter and then you get the one or the zero to switch it on or off so if I set that to zero now it will allow me to draw an S line at any angle I want what you don't want to do though to switch it back on you don't have to keep typing it in either so what we're going to do is we're going to create this into a toolbar now that we know the system variable we can go into the user interface and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new command. So click on the create new command button and then we're going to rename this Sline Auto on. And there we go, there's our new command. What we need to do is we need to add a macro into this command. So we've got the hat C. So what we're going to do is just underscore, and then we're going to type in the, the system variable. So sline auto, and then semicolon, and then we need to type the number which co corresponds to the, the action that we require. So in this case, it's on, so we're going to use number one. What we need to do now is we need to choose a preview image for the uh, toolbar. And in this case, I'm just going to edit this one and then do a save as and then save it as Sline Auto 1. Clear the image and then basically just draw an approximation and then just save it. And then we close out of there. What we're going to do now is open up, expand our toolbars area, and we're going to find our pin ID toolbar, which is down here. What I can do now with my Sline Auto One is just drag it up and add it into the pin ID toolbar, which has been added in there. What I'm going to do is just repeat that action again, and just rename that Sline Auto off. find it from our list again. There it is. And again we just repeat the, the macro. And this time we'll have a zero in there and then preview image. So that one this time we change this to off. And then just clear that and then just draw again an approximation. There's the toolbar button. And just save that and then close it. What we do now again we drag our toolbar 
button up into the PNIB toolbox. And then just apply this and OK to close out the CUI. Right. And then there we have the slime auto off. Okay, so that should hopefully have saved you a little bit of time going in and out of the project properties just to do a simple task like switching auto on or off the lines. Hope this has helped and uh, good luck with PNID. Thank you.